Hello, everyone. On this seventh Monday of Easter, when we Americans pause to celebrate with gratitude Memorial Day, we remember all those who, in the words of Lincoln, gave their last full measure of devotion by dying in the line of duty. Let us begin our Mass in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. Let us now prepare to celebrate these sacred mysteries by calling to mind our sins and asking God for pardon and strength. You are sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. May the power of the Holy Spirit come to us, we pray, O Lord, that we may keep your will faithfully in mind and express it in a devout way of life. For our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. While Apollos was in Corinth, Paul traveled through the interior of the country and down to Ephesus where he found some disciples. He said to them, Did you receive the Holy Spirit when you became believers? They answered him, We have never even heard that there is a Holy Spirit. He said, How were you baptized? He replied, With the baptism of John. Paul then said, Well, John baptized with a baptism of repentance telling the people to believe in the one who was to come after him, that is, in Jesus. When they heard this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. And when Paul laid his hands on them, the Holy Spirit came upon them, and they spoke in tongues and prophesied. Altogether, there were about 12 men. He entered the synagogue and for three months debated boldly with persuasive arguments about the kingdom of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. God arises, his enemies are scattered, and those who hate him flee before him. As smoke is driven away, so are they driven, as, max, as wax melts before the fire. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. But the just rejoice and exalt before God. They are glad and rejoice. Sing to God, chant praise to his name, whose name is the Lord. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. The father of orphans and the defender of widows is God in his holy dwelling. God gives a home to the forsaken. He leads forth prisoners to prosperity. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. If then you were raised with Christ, seek what is above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. The disciples said to Jesus, Now you are talking plainly and not in any figure of speech. Now we realize that you know everything and that you do not need to have anyone question you. Because of this, we believe that you came from God. Jesus answered them, Do you believe now? Behold, the hour is coming and has arrived when each of you will be scattered to his own home, and you will leave me alone. But I am not alone, because the Father is with me. I have told you this so that you might have peace in me. In the world you will have trouble, but take courage. I have conquered the world. 
the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So do you remember your own baptism? Well, most of us do not. If we did, it would be kind of scary. Most of us were baptized as babies. But the point I'm making is we are baptized. And because of our baptism in the Spirit, we were transformed forever. Children of this world, we were transformed into children of God. And it was the Holy Spirit of God that made this possible. The outpouring of water on the outside was, of course, a symbol of what was happening on the inside. John preached a baptism of repentance. People got online, they came to the Jordan, and they were baptized, and they were plunged under and symbolically cleansed of their past sins and went off to hopefully experience a change of heart, a conversion, turning themselves over more to God and less to the material things of this world. And, of course, John's point also was to have them prepare by cleansing themselves of the old to accept the new. But the baptism that Paul was talking about in Ephesus was a spiritual baptism, what we regard as a sacramental baptism. This was a transforming baptism. This was something that, if you remember your theology of old, left what we call an ontological change on each of us. We became children of God. And because of that closeness to God, we were also given a responsibility to believe in the one God sent, to believe that Jesus Christ is Son of God and Son of Mary, to believe that Jesus is the long-awaited Messiah. He is the anointed one that was promised throughout the ages, and that we need to respond to that in not just an intellectual way, oh, yes, I believe, but to commit ourselves. You see, that needs to be done every single day. We need to commit ourselves to Jesus because we are those modern-day disciples. We look back in the story, and we wonder what it was like for those 12 men in Ephesus to be taught by Paul, to be enlightened by Paul, to feel that stirring in their hearts that prompted them to say, baptize us, and then feeling after the baptism the promptings of the Holy Spirit, causing them to speak in tongues and also to prophesy. They would transform people, and I believe their lives from that point on were changed. So you and I every day should thank God for the gift of the Holy Spirit, that person of God that allows us to know he is with us always, that gives us guidance and encouragement and strength even in difficult times like this, and to trust in the promptings of the Holy Spirit to guide us in the course of our daily lives. So today, we thank God for the gift of faith. We thank God for the gift of baptism, being born again by water and the Holy Spirit. And we ask God's continued grace, his strength and presence in our lives, so that we will always go out there being bold, proclaiming our faith in our thoughts, words, and actions. Jesus Christ is Lord. And we are his disciples who truly believe in him and his gospel and his promise of eternal life. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us now present our petitions before God, responding, Lord, hear our prayer. That the Holy Spirit of God will continue to inspire our Holy Father, Pope Francis, our bishops, pastors, and all who have been tasked with spreading the gospel in our modern world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That God will bless our president and other elected officials in their efforts to bring America through the present epidemic and into a time of renewed health and happiness, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who live in lands without religious freedom one to go persecution and at times martyred them because of their Christian faith. We pray that God will bless them. We pray to the Lord. That those who have given their lives in service to our country 
may now rest in peace in the kingdom of heaven. We pray to the Lord. That God will bless and protect all of our brave, uniformed men and women who presently serve at home and abroad. We remember especially our first responders and health care professionals in our hospitals and nursing homes. We pray to the Lord. That those called by God to vocations in the priesthood, diaconate, and religious life will respond wholeheartedly to their call to these special ministries. We pray to the Lord. That those who are presently experiencing illness in mind, body, or spirit may feel the healing presence of Christ in their daily lives. Remember especially Tina Heim and all those who may be suffering from the coronavirus at this time. We pray to the Lord. That all who have died recently may now experience eternal life in the kingdom of heaven. We pray to the Lord. And for all those whose names have been placed on our altar, we pray to the Lord. Lord, you know our needs even before we express them in words. We ask you now to hear all of our prayers and for your will to grant them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us our bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine, a work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. My brothers and sisters, let us pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Let us pray. May this unblemished sacrifice purify us, O Lord, and impart to our minds the force of grace from on high, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For after his resurrection, he plainly appeared to his disciples, was taken up to heaven in their sight, that he might make us sharers in his divinity. Therefore, overcome a paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring us to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Timothy, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. We pause for a moment to remember all of our departed servicemen and women. Welcome them now into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Aidan, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, we may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us now pray to the Father, using the words Jesus, our Savior, gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostle, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with all of you. Let us pause now to offer a gesture of peace to all who may be watching this Mass with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only said the word and my soul shall be healed. our prayer of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there. I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. The mighty God bless you always, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Our prayer to the Virgin Mary for protection. O Mary, you shine continuously on our journey as a sign of salvation and hope. We entrust ourselves to you, health of the sick. At the foot of the cross, you participated in Jesus' pain with steadfast faith. You, Our Lady of New York, know what we need. We are certain that you will provide so that as you did at Cana of Galilee, joy and peace, you might return here to this moment of trial. Help us, Mother Divine Love, to conform ourselves to the Father's will and to do what Jesus tells us. He who took our sufferings upon himself and bore our sorrows to bring us through the cross to the joy of the resurrection. Amen. We seek refuge under your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our plea. We are put to the test and deliver us from every danger, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. May God bless you with a peaceful and safe day.